like Dr. Sumrall used to say, uh, flies don't land on a hot stove. So the best way to make sure the devil is not getting any access to you, stay hot. Stay on fire for Jesus. Stay fired up. Uh, stay constantly. Now, understand, just because you read the Bible once doesn't mean you've read the Bible. Amen? You, that means that you have to read it and read it and read it and read it. And why? Because every day you're different. And every day that you're different, you'll get something more and different out of reading what you read yesterday. And the more you read even the same thing, you can read the same passage. And when you read it, see, they, they tell us that we're supposed to chew our food a certain amount of times. Why? To get all the nutrition as much as we can out of it. Well, that's what you do when you read the Bible. You can read the same passage. What do you do when you read it again and again and you speak it out and you think about it and you meditate on it? What are you doing? You're chewing that word. And that's why he said, come and taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen? So you need to chew on that thing and chew on that thing. You take that scripture and you say, well, but I don't understand it. That's the part you need to chew on. You see? Don't just chew on the part you understand. See, when you chew on the part you don't understand, what happens is revelation starts coming. It starts coming. Now, the amazing thing is it usually doesn't come while you're chewing on it, okay? It usually doesn't come while you're sitting there talking about it. What, it's amazing because when you're reading it, and even if you're saying it, you're using your soul. And most of the time when people use their soul, they don't allow their spirit to influence their soul. Your, your spirit cannot influence your soul any more than your soul, your mind, is renewed to the Word of God. And so, but many times people, when they're reading the word, they're just reading it with their soul, which you guess what? Your soul needs it, right? Why? Because your soul needs to be renewed. And so when you read it, that's fine. But usually the revelation comes whenever you go do something else. When you're not even thinking it, or you don't think you're thinking it. See, that's the beauty of it. You don't even think you're thinking about it. Which is what? What does that mean? That means that your soul isn't even thinking about it in that sense, but your spirit, it's still going on in your spirit. And, and all your spirit's waiting for is for your soul to quit. See, when you're thinking, it's as if your soul is tight and tense. Why? Because you're thinking, you're focused. And so the spirit is just, it can't get in there because it's like a, a muscle just tightened up. But as soon as you go do something else, then your mind in that area will relax and the Spirit can bring forth revelation into your soul, and you'll be doing something else, totally not even thinking that you're thinking about the Word. And all of a sudden, that revelation will come up and go, oh, oh, wow. And, and I mean, isn't that strange? He didn't tell me that while I was sitting there studying. He told me that while I was mowing the yard or doing something else, right? And so why? Because your soul is disengaged, and he can actually get through to your soul. 